little depressed. Ever have problems recalling instances that just happened? Just happened? Just happened? Just happened? You ever get the feeling? <laughs> Dr. Elijah Mina is here to help you regain the power of not only your mind, but your life as well. With over a decade of psychiatric practice under his belt, you can bet that Dr. Mina can cater to all the needs of your mind. And I know what you're thinking. This Dr. Mina fella sounds a bit too good to be true. Why take our word for it? That's why with every new patient, the first five sessions are on the house. This not only helps your wallet, but it helps Dr. Mina get to the bottom of what's truly bothering you before setting a diagnosis for that stubborn mind of yours. Hello, and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. My name is Matt Vlad. Today's game is Blink, as always. No research. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. We're just going to jump in. But first, let's admire the menu music. Very creepy. Press any key. That is bright. We're gonna hit new game. Let's go. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Thank you. Okay, is personality derived from memories or is it something deeper? That's the question we seek to answer. Dr. Vida. I hate games that start with a ringing phone. We're always waking up. Oh. Wow. Oh my. Why, dude, the games just keep getting more and more realistic. This is insane. Oh, this is madness. This looks familiar though. It does. I really should answer the phone. Let's answer the phone. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? Doctor, I'm sorry. Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? Of course not, Doctor. Never mind. How's Lily doing? Is she around? She's upstairs playing at the moment, but I can go get her if you give me just one second. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm going to be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? Absolutely anything for you, Doctor. That won't be the problem. You just have to let me know when you'll be back. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, uh, go ahead. Do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present and give it to her before she goes to bed. It's a rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs, across from Lily's. It'll be in one of the cabinets. Did you get all that? Yes, <laughs> I've got all that. The cake is in the kitchen, and you've left a rabbit doll for her in your room. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. Okay, so we are a girl with a very cute voice. Family, where life begins. Okay, so I've seen this layout before in a horror game that we played maybe like five or six months ago. And, man, dude, it is dark. What the hell is that? Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is this has been reworked, obviously, but it's the same layout. I remember because we were in this back room. There was a breaker box in this back room on the wall. And it's not there now. And we had to walk up on this thing watching TV and it was terrifying but anyway let's go to the kitchen let's check out this cake that blinking is messing me up it's making me blink 
Looks like she already got a piece. Okay. Cool. Well then, let's go up in her room, or his room, and find that rabbit. Okay, we can run, thank God. Oh, there's smoothing in this game. Not a fan of it, but we're going to leave it on. Lily! Just go away. I, I didn't want to be left alone for a while. I'll be out later. Love the dialogue. I'm glad it's got dialogue in it. Well, somebody Maybe I should give her a present. Maybe that will cheer her up. It just makes it easier. There's the bear. Zero. Office. Yeah, leave that off. Okay, got the bear. Here you go, Lily. Locked. Wild child. Made in this... What does that say? Made in the 70s. Okay. Well, no leaving no bear for her. She's being an asshat. I'm already getting itchy. <sighs> now what? Maybe... Oh. Oh. Nice. Nice office. So we got a safe here. Yeah, this is my gaming room. This would be the gaming room. I'd have to black out the windows, though. Anyway, go outside. No, we cannot. We picked up a... Ooh, look at the garage. We can go out back. It is impossibly dark out here. Whoa! Whoa! What is that? Achievement unlocked, the lost chapter. Okay, sure. Well, we're just gonna explore around here, see what we can see, I guess. Check these doors. Locked. This reminds me of like E.T. I don't know why. It just does. Let's go back in the house. Maybe we can lay, lay the bear down. In front of her door or something. I don't know. Just wanted to scope out the area. Let's see here. Gotta be a way to get in there. Damn it. Open the door, Lily. Ooh, I knocked. You have to right click to knock. Yeah, she's definitely not answering. Yeah, man, this has been used in quite a few games, this house layout, but I like it. Open the damn door, please. Nothing. Okay. Let's check in here, maybe. I keep hearing weird sounds in here. Oh, there's a note. All right. Lily hit another student after said student took one of her drawings. Normally, I'd recommend disciplining for both discipline for both students in situations like this, but the drawing was of Lily and someone named Grace, mocking another student's weight. Ugh. Even if this weren't the case, Lily has no right to use physical violence when frustrated. Guidance counselor. That's not good. See if this says anything. Three. Rise. Zero. Yeah, it's some code. It's giving me some kind of clue. Wait a minute. Okay, there was another. Oh my god. Welcome back. Oh my god. Real news from real people. A small Colorado town is still shaken by the disappearance of Grace Patterson. 
the babysitter who attempted to kidnap the girl she was watching over. The night of the kidnapping, the parents returned home earlier than expected. When they arrived, they found Patterson driving away in a hurry. Patterson ended up in a high-speed chase with the parents, following the abduction, with the child in the back seat. Patterson lost control of the vehicle, ramming into a tree, ending the pursuit. By the time law enforcement arrived, Patterson was gone, though the girl was safe, sustaining only minor injuries. Patterson, aged 18, had been babysitting for the couple for about a year before the incident. Neither the detectives or parents are aware of Oh, God. Now what? No flashlight and equipment. All right. Sure. So, oh. No, my fucking God. Okay. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Oh, no. For extra vitamins, a pill to go to sleep, a pill to wake up. Why not a pill to make you feel good? Somebody's flipping through the channels. Figuring percentages really gets me. Do you like that, too? Beautiful, are they? The finish, the wood, the look. Or any time you feel like relaxing with a drink. Let's turn that off. Okay. Got a feeling it's going to turn back on. Ooh, we. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Missing person homicide. Case closed. Person crimes. Okay. What the hell is this? Date. July 6, 1967. Patient. William Brown. Inmate. 44295. Assigned psychiatrist. Yet to be assigned. Objective. Rehabilitate. Session. N.A. Patient history. Brown was convicted of murdering his father on August 16, 1960. Though only 13 at the time, he was tried as an adult. His defense reportedly tried to organize an insanity defense, but Brown pleaded guilty to all charges against him, assuring he was of sound mind. He spent four years in juvie before being transferred into Colorado State Penitentiary. Shortly after being transferred, Brown had a violent confrontation with another inmate involving a shoelace he'd gotten somehow. He was put in solitary confinement and has just been reintroduced to general prison population within the past month. Brown's behavior is quiet. He often keeps to himself. He seems to be articulate, reading anything he can get his hands on. No history of medications. Okay. Hmm. What do we have here? Tape player, no tape. Instruction manual. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be finding some tapes. What the hell is that? Guess we found another chapter. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Where's this pee pee? I don't know. Uh, resident graduation 1954. Holy crap, that's old. Okay, so we can spin objects. I'm just trying to uh, be thorough. You have to be very thorough in these games. Otherwise, you screw. Up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wasn't for sure what I was seeing, and then it moved. That really made me feel sick. Oh, no. There's a tape. Tape labeled thoughts, number 47. Okay, let's hear your thoughts. There we go. Plug. 
play. Effort at being thoughtful blew up in my face today. Leda was hesitant about the move and mentioned a variety of concerns. She kept mentioning the difficulty of moving. If that's a problem, then I'll take care of it, I thought. It was supposed to be a surprise. It was supposed to make her happy. It wasn't. I'll just have to prove to her this is a good thing. This is an opportunity for all of us. Okay. Back to it then. Where'd that tape go? Okay. I think that was the dude that was on the phone. Oh, the lights are on. Great. I'm not going upstairs. Probably going to have to. I really wish that I could find a flashlight or something. Please let me find a flashlight. Oh my god, I hate this. What do we have here? Okay. There's no flashlight. I'm not seeing one. I guess we're going to have to go upstairs. What's in the refrigerator? What's on the refrigerator? Okay. Subject, reading, music, C, and arithmetic is a B. Okay. Got decent grades. Cat. Awesome. Me and Mommy. 1966. Whew. Okay. Going upstairs. I guess. Oh my god. All right. Well, Looks the same. Nothing. Yippee. Yippee. So you've got your sitting room and then your bedroom. <sighs> Come on. What's this? Okay. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Daddy likey. That's a lot of files. Okay. Awesome. Nothing in there. Check the drawers. Nothing. Just taking my time. There's blood on those. Okay. Cigarettes. Lily. Interesting. Okay. Let's open. Robbie. Oh, no. We are not moving. There's an argument between the parents and she's listening. Weirdo. Ooh. Gross. Show and tell went well. New babysitter. Grace. There's like fire in the door. Click, 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 click. Mom is always typing. Click, click. Grace took me to the park when we got back. She was still typing. We found something past the park. Grace said to keep what we saw a secret. Grace keeps watching me. Oh my God. Ah. Grace is a psycho. Thank you for that. Oh my God. Lily. Oh my God. I'm really starting to hate this game. I'm really not liking this game. Broken window. Oh, no. <sighs> Europa. It's a nice room. What was that? Is that grilled cheese? I'm hungry. No, that's, that's the cake. That's not grilled cheese. Sorry. 
Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. Every hair on my body is standing up right now. This is, uh, this is serious. <sighs> the other games I've, I've played have been spooky, you know, and realistic, but this one already has taken the cake. I have chicken skin like I've never had before. Okay, there's footprints. All right, I'm assuming we leave. I'm just making sure there's nothing here. Okay. <sighs> Believe in yourself. Oh, God. That is the craziest picture ever. Why? Light. Damn it. Oh God. Is What is that? They're just lights in the distance. Okay, thank God. Is anybody on the shitter? I can't see. Okay, locked. hell is this? Capturing nature. Okay. She's waiting. Please stop it. Please. There's an arrow. Oh, God. I hear music. What is that sound? I thought it was coming from the closet, but it's not. It's coming from downstairs. It's so hard to see. Oh, there we go. I made it. The door was blocking the way I just couldn't see. Oh. My God. Here we go. Took a little break. We are back. Okay. It's a nice little break. Where the hell are we? I don't, I don't even know what happened, man. Let's just push forth. Oh, man. That, that really messed me up. Let's run. Camp. Center for Applied Memory Pharmaceuticals. Okay. Excellent. We are... Whoa. What is that? I don't think that's a mannequin. Although, I can't tell. Well, let me walk through. Okay, well, let's go this way then. <gasps> 
There's another one. What is that, dude? It's a mannequin. Why do they always put mannequins in scary games, man? Wishing Peggy from Admin a happy 52nd birthday. Join the celebration at 1 in the break room. Please let Linda know of any food-related allergies beforehand. No second photo. Spyglass Detective Agency. Found this guy on the archive camp training video. This one really stood out. No indication the video was ever shown for training purposes, and this guy doesn't fit the usual clean-cut look camp goes for. He'd easily pass for a hippie. Total mystery. Okay. Well, I hate this. Just want to let you guys know that I'm not having fun. Oh! Not having fun. I knew it. I knew it, man. Come on. Go ahead. Jump at me. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. Disrupt the cycle. I'd love to. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Did that door just open? It did. Okay. We are in water. It's been happening like clockwork. Every time I finish tucking Lily into bed, the radio in the other room plays a strange song and then shuts off. At first, I thought it was an automatic system of sorts, but tonight, I let Lily stay up an hour later than usual and it didn't play until immediately after I tucked her in. I called Vita, thinking there was someone in the room. He hurried home, opened the room, and nothing. I know it's not all in my head. Something is going on. Sure. Oh, there's another door. Sweet. Oh my god. This is hard. This is a hard one for me to get through, bro. <sighs> yep. That's interesting. Very interesting. Don't do it. It's starting to play at random times now. Sometimes I've run up the stairs when I hear it, but by the time I get close to it, it'll shut off. I know someone's in there, messing with me. If only it wasn't locked. Why is there no key to that door? There it goes again. It's playing over and over. I need to ask Lily if she can hear it too. Okay, she can't hear it, even though it's playing right outside her bedroom. She must be in on it. We're going to turn around, and something's going to be there. <laughs> oh. borderline panic attack right now I sit outside the door and listen to it now I never noticed before but there's something speaking in the song this door I can't make up what they're saying if only I was closer why is there no key what is it saying I have to get in oh god what if it gives me answers answers to the song I'm getting in there even if I have to break the door down I can hear her now it all makes sense Come on, man. Please don't. Here we go. Oh. I twist the dial, but it won't go any louder. <laughs> I missed something important. Why won't they speak louder? 
I have to go inside. I dissect the radio, but still can't hear them clearly. The music just gets louder and the voice quieter. What? Now it's coming from the closet. I open it. Nothing. The voice is everywhere now. It's mocking me. Mocking me. Mocking me. Lily. The music stopped. She's screaming. I know what I missed. She keeps repeating it. I'm not safe here. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is terrible. Oh! Oh! We're back in here. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? Never mind. How's Lily doing? Is she around? No dialogue for the girl. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm gonna be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? Sure. But how long? When will you be back? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, uh, go ahead. Do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present and give it to her before she goes to bed. It's... A rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs across from Lily's. It'll be in one of the cabinets. Did you get all that? Cake's in the kitchen. Rabbit doll upstairs. Got it. Yeah. No dialogue for her. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. Okay, so I don't know why the dialogue wasn't in there for her. Maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. She's already got a piece of cake. Deja vu shit. Go away. I, I just want to be left alone for a while. I'll be out later. Okay. There goes that radio. Let's listen to it very thoroughly this time. Nothing. Weird. Okay. One. Two. Three. Yeah, this is different. Oh, God, the music in this. Lily, hmm. Wonder where she went off to. What? Butterfly. Butterfly. The dusk dimension. Popular psychology. Unlocking the secrets of the mind. A look into camp research. Okay. Sure. Hey, look! Look what it is! Somebody must be a fan of Doctor Who. I think that's what it is. That's a TARDIS. <laughs> I didn't know what a TARDIS was until like a couple months ago. That's very, very strange. Doors open. I don't think she's out here. <sighs> Got booger. Sorry. It happens. What the hell is this? What the hell is this?
elevator, I think. We'll start with one. Cool, cool, cool. Love elevators in my house. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh great, did it stop? I can't, I can't see. Something's right on the door. Now it sounds like it's in here with me. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh no! Please give me a flashlight. Okay, moving on. Oh, cool. Where the hell is this? Authorized personnel only. That's the front door. Yep, all the furniture's gone. Excellent. Employee watch list. Scott Malcolm, senior instructor. Purpose, monitor activities, follow promotion. Second observation, 903-1973. Mr. Malcolm has been actively training subject for a month. Malcolm spends less time socializing with coworkers and has picked up tobacco use, likely as an anxiety reliever. Regarding his work, Malcolm is a model employee. His transfer rates are higher than those with more experience than him. Malcolm has been observed to be very inquisitive with research staff regarding his project, though his behavior seems to be more for information probing. Ugh. What's that word? Inquisition? Inquisition? Inqu inquisitive? I don't know. Recommendation award Malcolm with Employee of the Month. For his efforts and extend direct observation beyond the camp offices. Another tape. Dude, this is, this game is insane. It's a vault. Okay, well, I would so eat that cake right now. You have no idea. All right, looks like we have to go outside because our house is completely screwed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back in here. Didn't open. Didn't open. Oh. What's that? Here we go. Employee watch list. Same, same, same. As of last month, Mr. Scott Malcolm was offered and accepted a position as a senior instructor. As such, Malcolm has been given second floor access and has learned more about camp research. Standard procedure dictates that all employees who receive second floor access be observed for a period of four months. Malcolm has been designated the instructor for Project Blank under the supervision of Blank and works directly with uh, subdivision Vita Psychiatrics to find volunteer slash paid research subjects. Okay, it's moving up in the world. I'm itching all over. Maybe I need to take a shower. It's been a while. Okay. Excellent, excellent. This is awesome. I love this elevator. It's my favorite. Okay, let's not go in there. This is like some umbrella shit. Unlock your mind. Yeah, it looks like I've unlocked mine. 
I would like to lock it back. Here we go. What's behind me? <sighs> Make sure it's out before entering. Wow. That's a lot of light switches. Oh shit, here we go. Third observation. 10 9, 1973. At work, Mr. Malcolm's behavior is friendly and outgoing. His behavior changed as soon as he leaves work. He is paranoid, anxious, and actively avoids communication with everyone. Off-hour observation has shown that Malcolm spends very little time at home, spending nights at random motels around town. There is no pattern to where he stays other than it is a different location every three nights. Recommendation. Malcolm cannot take the mental stress of his position. It must be made clear whether he is divulging camp secrets, termination, and other measures need following determination. Okay, cool. So he's uh, going off the rails, maybe. There, I think he's one of the dudes that they're screwing with. Let's keep moving. Elevator blocked with chairs. Can't go that way. Very strange. Okay. Let's keep our eyes peeled. This place is insane. I knew it. I knew it. Keep finding those pages. I don't know what they are. I don't know where to go or what to do. I guess let's go back. My phone keeps making all kinds of noises. It's starting to get on my nerves. Okay, I don't think there was a... My God, this looks different. Another tape player. I have no tapes. Another page. You gotta be very observant, man. Yeah, this wasn't here before, I don't think. I just hope at some point we don't have to run. I think I see somebody standing. Now I'm tripping. Oh my god. I say that way too much. You were right. They were watching me. They've been watching me since I got promoted. They still don't seem to know I've been communicating with you. I feel them closing in though. I can't come back here. I'll get whatever evidence you want, but you need to get me out now. I'm shooting a training film in two days. In that time, I'll get whatever files I can. You need to go ahead and probe the Vita place. Don't watch any TV or listen to any local radio broadcast until we're done with this. I appreciate everything you folks have done. Scott Malcolm. Hmm. So he is moving up in the company to steal files and stuff. But who is he communicating with? That's the question. Very strange. Maybe some entity? Something evil? Security. Locked. There is no key card in your inventory. Something's gonna happen in here, I just know it. Or maybe we need to find the key card. Look at all those TVs, dude. Them big ass old box TVs. Why are those in here? Oh, I'm so stupid. I know you guys saw that. The doll was holding the key card. Sorry about that. There we go. Here. 
in the control room. Or the security room, I should say. Okay. Don't do it. After hours, lockdown overridden. Welcome, instructor. Hi. Wow. Headquarters. <sighs> hallway. West hallway. Hallway B. <coughs> Lobby. <coughs> what the hell is this? <coughs> My house. Okay, the elevator with the stuff in it. Have no idea. B2 morgue. Interesting. I know once I get out of this, I don't know what the hell that is. There's going to be something here. Okay, front door to the house. Everything's quiet. That is not good. Well, let's try to leave. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. What in the hell is going on? Thank you for playing Blink the last night. The story will be continued in the lost chapter. Oh. Wow. That was absolutely insane. Man, the horror games lately have been just ridiculous. We're going to wait for the end of the credits to roll. See if there's anything there. Mm, yeah, Unreal Engine. All the, the good scary games lately have been on Unreal Engine. I like that. Abandoned House Studios, that's nice. Okay, well, there you have it. Another spooky one in the books. We're going to have to shelf this game because there are going to be chapters coming out. Very, very interesting. If you guys enjoyed the video, I don't care what you do, man. I just hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support the channel, I do have a band gameplay series. It is the best work I've ever done. It is uh, very banned on YouTube. It's uh, for the $10 tiers and up. It's on Utreon. That link is down in the description. It helps the channel out a lot. It helps me grow. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I live stream on the weekends on Twitch. I love you guys. See you in the next one.